God bless America. Hello, everybody. I am the talk radio protege, and this is the protege program. I uh, I don't have a graphic for you today, so you just get to look at the Declaration of Independence. But thank you for tuning in to this video. I think it's going to be kind of short for today, but I hope that you'll enjoy all the same. And leave a like and subscribe when we get to the end. So let's get into it. We've got more details on the tax cut plan that's not actually a tax cut because it's revenue neutral. So we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about some of the items that are in the wish list. Uh, this is from a uh, Republican higher up. I don't have a name for you. I don't have a position of any kind. I just know that this comes from someone in the Republican Party that's close to the White House. The objective of this tax restructuring, is what I'm going to call it, is to make tax forms the size of a postcard. I don't think this is going to do that. I don't think it's even going to come close, but this is just the bare bones skeletal, uh, the, the, the bare bones wish list that we have. So here's some of the items, the important points, the key notes that you should know about the plan. There is no reduction in the tax rate to the top income bracket. So this is, by definition, not a tax cut for the rich. It reduces the number of brackets from 7 to 3. So we don't have any idea of what those structures will look like. We don't know if the number of people in the top or bottom bracket are going to increase. Uh, we do know, we don't even know if the rates on the second and third brackets are going to change from where they are right now, which would be the middle and lower class brackets. But we, all that we know is the top bracket is not going down. Uh, the plan right now is to eliminate state and local tax or state and local income tax deductions. This is not really a conservative solution, and I'll uh, tell you why that is in a few moments. Uh, it doubles the standard deduction from $12,000 to $24,000, and I think that's just a number, uh, like a, your yearly income. When you get to the end of the year and you report your yearly income, you automatically deduct that much. Uh, or the standard deduction, rather, is that much of your uh, fed income is not taxable. Uh, it eliminates the alternative minimum tax. It eliminate or it reduces the business tax from 35% to 20%, and it eliminates the estate tax. Now, I think that what we need to point out here is that this is not a conservative tax plan. This is not Ronald Reagan's tax plan. This is not even George Bush's tax plan. This is the populist tax restructuring. There's no real cuts because it's revenue new it's supposed to be revenue neutral at the end of the day. But there are some good things involved depending on how things shake out. The, the smaller number of tax brackets could be a very good thing. Uh, increasing the number of brackets is a, a way for Democrats to buy votes by moving people out of a higher bracket into a lower one by creating a lower bracket. So reducing the number of brackets makes it, uh, makes it more necessary to reduce the tax rate in order to give people an actual tax cut or tax relief rather uh, eliminating the estate tax is something that's very very good um, basically what the estate tax does is tax every dollar that you have earned and kept for yourself a second time when you die if you think about it you pay income taxes when you earn every dollar that you get. You do whatever you wish to do with that dollar. If you want to put it in a piggy bank 
or rather with the money that you have left you do whatever you want with it you put it in a piggy bank put it in an investment spend it whatever you do people that choose to hold on to it and pass it on to their children end up having to pay taxes on it again to the federal government it's income tax again on the money that you've kept. So eliminating the estate tax would be something very good. Uh, it's something that the left and the uh, Democrat voting base love because it soaks the rich. The uh, the meg or people, rather the regular Democrat voter, think that they're never going to benefit from their parents' estate because their parents aren't going to leave them hundreds of billions of dollars and people feel like, well, these rich kids that get millions of dollars from their parents didn't work for it, so they don't deserve it. But somebody worked for that money, and somebody deserves to be able to do whatever with it they wish to do. So that is... So that's why we need to see the estate tax gone. Business tax rate coming down is a very good thing. That's going to spur a lot of growth in the economy. And the reason is because the bi uh, businesses need capital to hire people. They, businesses need bigger profit margins to hire new people. They need capital to open new stores and make new innovations. Also, the alternative minimum tax is going away. Um, I don't know a lot about this tax, but I understand from conservative sources that it's a good thing that this would be getting that we would be getting rid of this. There's some not conservative things in this proposal as well. Zero reduction in the top marginal tax bracket is not a conservative tax plan. And I'm going to explain some more about why that is in a few minutes, so uh, hold on with me there. Eliminating state and local income tax deductions, I don't think is a conservative solution because it's, again, taxing your dollar twice. If, uh, if your income is, if you're using $318, I'm just pulling a random number, to pay your state taxes at the end of the year, and then the government says, well, we're going to tax th that money too. Uh, you know, that dollar is getting taxed twice. So that's not a, a conservative libertarian solution. Now, why I call this a tax restructuring and not an actual tax cut is because it's supposed to be revenue neutral. And what a revenue neutral tax cut means is the government isn't losing any revenue. Of course, um, we can talk about should the government actually uh, lose revenue? Should the government never lose revenue? I don't think we have to have that conversation today to tell you why this tax restructuring is not going to spur as much economic growth as it could. I mentioned that the business tax rate is going down by 15% and that that's a good thing that that's going to spur some economic growth. But that's going to spur economic growth for bigger businesses more than it is for smaller businesses. The reason that this is is because the, of the way smaller businesses are structured and set up. A uh, small enough business is set up as if it's an individual who is the sole proprietor, sole employee for a business. So those, the way that those businesses usually handle their income is on an individual basis. Uh, because these are businesses, they usually have a high amount of income, and because they're acting like individuals, they... Uh, usually have to pay the, a lot higher tax rate. Also, individuals put their money into their own businesses, So, and, and people that have enough money to start a business are very wealthy, or quite wealthy, I guess I should say, 
people, not on the level of the CEOs of multi-billion dollar global conglomerates for certain, but uh, still the the types of people that have hundreds of thousands of dollars sitting around that they want to do something with. And so they open a business that costs a lot of money. That money is being taxed at a very high rate. So bringing the business tax rate down is going to be very helpful for the big businesses that have their own bank accounts. Uh, you know, Walmart having its own bank account, Amazon having its own bank account, separate and apart from their uh, CEOs. But not bringing the individual tax rate down uh, is not going to spur, as, is going to mean that we don't get as much economic growth. Um, also, because we have a revenue neutral tax restructuring, we're not actually putting any more money back into the economy. I really, really liked the way that this was explained on the Rush uh, Limbaugh show today. If you know, the federal government has a budget of $3 trillion, that's how much money they bring in from in taxes every year. That's $3 trillion that's being burnt on the altar of the government. It's not being put back into the economy. So if the government restructured the tax system so that its revenues went down a trillion dollars, you know, immediately people on the left freak out and wonder what the government's going to do with a th two-thirds of its usual revenue. But wh where does that one trillion dollars go if the government were to restructure the tax bracket so that it lost a trillion dollars in revenue? Where does that money go? That money is not burned into the abyss like it, like what happens when money goes to the government in taxes. That money goes into the pockets of consumers, small business owners, large business owners, businesses, uh, investors. It goes into all different kinds of places. And that money is then spent on products by the consumers. It's spent on companies to give them capital by the investors. It's spent on growth, especially for the small businesses, for those small business owners that uh, really get a double dose of economic juice when uh, the big or the top marginal tax rate is reduced and the corporate tax rate is reduced. They get a double dose of economic um, economic stimulus. The big business owners get a dose because they get a break as well. Big businesses and small businesses alike get a break because they're, the taxes on the businesses themselves go down. So... This is, so cutting actually cutting the taxes in a way that would hit the uh, revenues of the federal government is not actually going to hurt the federal government. The federal government has $20 trillion in tax that is going up that we're not interested in paying off. So there's no real reason to worry about revenues for the federal government. If the federal government needs more money, it just prints it anyway. Uh we pretend that we need to be worried about revenues right now, but if we're not interested in cutting costs, there's no reason to be interested in increasing revenue. And even if we were increasing revenue, we can look at the tax cuts that actually happened in the Reagan and second Bush administrations that caused more revenue to be generated. This is documented and I wish I had something to show you that this was documented but I'm I'm trusting the words of people that are older and have more knowledge than me on that one Asides from that the left doesn't care about revenue when it comes to taxes they care about redistribution of wealth when it comes to taxes uh and there's a senator who stood on the floor of the Senate, or representative, I'm not sure, and said that revenue does not matter when it comes to taxes. The only thing that matters is quote-unquote fairness. So restructuring the tax rate in a way that that is revenue neutral, number one, does nothing 
more for the economy than Obama's trillion dollar stimulus did. I'll give you a hint, that was nothing. And restructuring the the way that the tax code in the way that this tax plan does it is not a conservative plan. This is not a uh, plan that prioritizes first economic growth. This is a populist tax plan. I call it the have your cake and eat it too plan because it tries to feed the conservatives a little bit. It tries to feed the left a little bit. It tries to feed the center a little bit and it tries to feed the economy a little bit while also trying to feed government a little bit. So um, those are my thoughts for this tax plan. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed this video and that uh, I hope that you'll let me know what you think about everything in the comments below, especially if you find out any new information that I didn't give to you here. Thank you so much for watching. I am jazzed for this weekend. It couldn't get here fast enough, but I hope that you'll hang on. There's just one more video of mine between you and the weekend. So thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Maybe leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Good night and God bless.